Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make a page topper pocket. But first, let's have our shout out to Lala Gamma, Sherry, Diane, Janine, Leanne, Nikki's Crafting Corner, Colleen, Diane, and Kelly. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, what I have here is a piece of copy paper that has been coffee dyed. <laughs> It is a printable on this side, which is chapter one papers. And I have cut this to approximately 10 and a half by two and a half. All right, so what I want to do right now is I want to fold this up approximately uh, one, two, three, three and a half inches up. And then I'm going to fold this over right here just a little bit. So I'm just going to just fold it over a little just to give it a little more stability because this is just copy paper. It is a heavyweight copy paper, but I just want to fold it over. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crease, crease it. I'm going to glue it right here. Give it a little glue. And just like that. I need to check my phone to make sure I've turned it down. Just a second. Okay, I'm glad I checked because it had not been turned down. All right, so we had folded it here and we folded it down here. Now I'm going to fold it in and I'm going to fold it down about two inches. Then I'm going to just roll the paper like this just so I can get the two corners right here together so I can bring in my corner rounder and I'm just going whoopsie, I'm just going to round those corners. So now we look something like this. What I want to do right now is I want to bring in my vintage photo. I'm going to ink around the outside and then I'm just going to ink around right to here on the inside because that we're going to make a pocket out of this and you won't see anything down below that. All right, I have inked it all the way around. I'm going to bring in my Tombow glue and I'm just going to glue the sides to make a pocket. So a little glue here and a little glue here. I'm just going to make a pocket right here. There we go. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in some of this folk art enamel. It's gold. So it's a acrylic paint and I'm just going to place a little bit on my glass mat right here. There we go. And I'm going to put some onto my finger and I'm going to gild around the outside of this cute little envelope here. And it's just going to make it look very rich and very expensive. <laughs> oh, it's just really going to add a really nice touch to it. So I'm just adding it with my finger like this and Make sure you don't get a paper cut. You can use a sponge if you want. You can use a paintbrush if you want. I've done all the above in some of my videos. I have found that my finger really does work the best for me. And then of course I want to do right here along that part and then on the inside I want to do a little bit more. Now on the pieces that I'm thinking about putting on here, I went ahead and I gilded those as well. So there we are. We've got that all done. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to bring in one that I've already done. It's exact same. It's same size, same everything. I just have it dried around the edge so I can work with it a little better. Now this is going to be placed over a page as a page topper. Let me see, let me bring in. So let's say this is our page. It's gonna fit right over our page just like that. 
decorating this side of the page as well as this side. And then of course when you take it off, you'll be able to place something inside the pocket. So with that said, let's bring in some things. I have some doilies, I have some cloth lace, I have some music paper, I have some cherubs, I have a little heart, and let's see what we can do here. I think I'm going to start on this side, and I think I want this piece right here. And let's see, maybe a little, I'm not exactly sure, maybe a little bit of doily like that and really get it. Okay, let's do that. So I'm going to get my Tombow glue and I kind of can see that it's going to be around in this area. I find putting doilies down kind of fussy, but it's because they have so many holes in them. But they're so beautiful that I really, really want to use it. And as you can see that I did gild it just a little bit so it is has that gold shimmer on it. So then let's do whoops, let's do this bottom part and let's see how I wanted that. About like that. I'm just looking at it and kind of imagining where it goes. I think it goes something like that. Let's place that right on there. A little more glue. And just a little more over here, like this. There we go. Oh, I love that. Now, let's put our music. And you see I gilded the edge. I didn't really ink it down any. I just gilded it. I like this side better. But we'll put this side because that's the side it was had the uh, gold on it. I'm not going to change it up now. It does say lovely star on here. My lovely star. <laughs> so that's sweet. Put that right there. And I think I would like to bring in this pretty little cherub. Two, two cherubs, two little angel girls. I don't know. Maybe I want a little pink behind it. I'm not real sure here. I'm just looking to see what I'm thinking I would like. Kind of like, I don't want to cover that up so much. I like that. I like the pink on there. So let's go ahead and, and place this circle down that it, it's a coffee pink coffee dyed copy paper that I used a stamp on. So we'll just put that down first, and then let's put our little angels down next. Maybe something like this. All right, I think that looks great. I do have some, some bling and some pearls, and I really want to use some. But right now, I think I need to decorate this other side, and then we can do that. So once again, I have some doily. Now remember, when we put this onto our page, we put this onto our page, this part isn't going to be seen until you take it off. So you might want to put a little something there, but you don't have to put, um, put a lot because it's not going to be seen until you open it up. So maybe something like this where it hangs down below and then you open it up. It's like that. I am going to tear it just like that. Let's look at that again. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get this glued down and continue on in our decorating. So maybe something like this. Put some more glue down here. Get this all glued down. Alrighty. Now, if you want, you could add a little something else here to maybe, <clears throat> you know, I'm not, I don't really have anything that I was planning on putting there, and I don't really see anything on my desk. But 
you know what I mean. You could put something there if you wanted some more decoration. We're going to finish right here. Let's go ahead and let's put our doily down on the flap. So it's, we're decorating the flap right now. And we're decorating it like this with a little bit of that doily that has the gold paint on it. And then let's place that music paper that also has some gold paint on it. And let's place it about right here. I don't know what those dogs bark anymore about. They just bark all the time. When it gets dark, they bark. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Now let's see. How about, how about if we add maybe a little bit of lace and have it come down a little bit. I have this little punch. Isn't that sweet? It's a heart punch. I thought maybe it would give a little color. So I'm going to open this up like this. And I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue right here just so I can get this down quickly and get it stuck on there. I'm just pushing it down on my glass mat because it really helps me get that attached. And then we have not painted this or even uh, inked it yet so I'm going to do that very quickly just like that just for a little bit of color and I think I want it like that kind of on the side and I think I'm going to actually add some hot glue to it and do it a little bit on the side like that so it's going to stick out just a little bit from our page and then I would like to place this one down as well. I put some gold around this one too, this little piece. Now these little pieces, like the double angels and this one here, the heart with the two little angels, are from digitalcollage.com. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? And you open it up we have a little bit of decoration here and I'm thinking that we really need to add a little bit of uh, pearls uh, some flat back pearls I think they need to be added because this is really very it's kind of shabby looking um, in the style I think that's one of my favorite styles. Victorian and shabby is definitely my style. Even though I make all kinds of styles in my videos because I know everybody has different interests. Alrighty, look at that. Oh, I think that's gorgeous. Now let's add some on this side. Let me think here where we could add them. How about if we go in kind of a little crescent shape right here okay and let's add a pearl here and then I have a couple more pearls we can add I actually have quite a few and one more would be nice now we don't have any labels or anything but I'm not thinking that it really needs a label. It does need a paper clip to hold it shut. Now I have this paper clip that's a teal color. It's very close to the color of this paper and I have a little ruffle with lace, a lace ruffle. And I'm going to just slip this. If I can, I'm going to stick this lace on here right through it. Just like that. Get that lace going on here. Turn it around. Oh my goodness, I'm bending the paper clip. There, I'm pulling it up on the top like that. And I thought, oops, it's not, 
are still wet. <laughs> Careful now. We could put that on there like that. So when you place this onto your page, it would be placed like this. And then, of course, your paper clip would go on to help hold it. And then it would be like this on the back side. Oh my goodness, you guys. I really love these. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.